Hi there. I'm on my own again. Still. It's a, it's a Friday night and I'm at David's again on my own. So he's still in Spain. He's been there four weeks now and he's got about a week and a half to go. So we're over the bulk of it. <laughs> Um, and uh, I said on the last one we're really really missing each other but um, I think he's having a really good time and I know he's certainly speaking lots of Spanish and um, he can tell that his Spanish has improved so that's brilliant um, and I've got absolutely no clue at the moment what I'm going to talk about but I thought I would just see what comes up quite like doing that just see what hits me i'm looking at my phone very precariously balanced on a cushion at the moment <laughs> hope it doesn't uh slip off um just realizing as i'm sat here on my own how amazing it is just to have this space of peace and quiet. I'm really, really appreciating it. So much so that I'm thinking I should literally just be sitting here in silence rather than doing this. I often find that when I sit really quietly, I, I can hear, I can feel and hear a ringing in my ears. And I think, I think, Life is just so loud, isn't it? Everything's so noisy. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe some people are just more sensitive to that than other people. But um, today's been a really noisy day. My kids are off school now. They broke up two days ago. And they rediscovered a voice-changing microphone that's been hidden away somewhere. So that's been out for a long time and and a speaker that that had to be used at high volume and some very noisy games and um, yeah, my ears were just ringing and still are. So it's nice to have this peace and quiet here. And, um, you know, realising that lots of people don't ever get the chance to have that bit of peace and quiet. Their lives don't allow that. And how important it is. I know that I very often like to just go for a walk on the beach with my dog. Just It just sort of resets, recalibrates my brain somehow. Hmm. funny the reason I'm here is because my ex has come back for the weekend so he's he's at our home with my kids tonight and he's absolutely hating the peace and tranquility he's um he's working down south Monday to Friday and he's got a lot of free time and um I'm thinking, God, that sounds incredible. And he's really not enjoying it. He's not enjoying the free time at all. He's really struggling with it. So it just makes me realise that I'm sort of sitting there thinking, God, we all need this peace and quiet. But for some people, it's the worst thing in the world. I know some people get really, really lonely as well. I don't know if I've ever been really lonely. Don't mean to sound smug saying that. I can't remember a time when I felt really lonely. Actually, 
most probably when I was married I felt quite lonely. I feel mean saying that. But there were times when I did. But that sort of alone loneliness that people describe. I'm not sure I've ever, I don't think I know what that feels like. And I'm trying to imagine it and it must be really, it must be really difficult. So for people who are feeling like that, me going on about how lovely it is to have peace and quiet, would probably be thinking they'd love to have kids running around making as much noise as they possibly could. And I think I need to remember that. Hmm. It's a good lesson to remember. So, what's been occurring? Um, <laughs> Me and David have been talking and messaging ridiculous amounts. And uh, I was missing him so much today that I started watching uh, a couple of our vlogs just so that I could see him and see him and me together and just remind myself what it's like. That sounds a bit, bit rubbish, doesn't it? Um, But I was watching our first one and we were talking about our journey and how we were going to um, use this as a way to sort of chart our journey together. And um, I, and I don't even know where I'm going with this. I sort of, I wonder where our journey is going. I think we both know where we want it to go, but we wonder how quickly we're going to get there. And um, maybe there's some frustration involved. That's just reminded me of my intention for the year. I set myself an intention for this year of patience. And I think it's, yeah, that is something that's really good to remind myself about. But um, I do tend to rush things and jump in a bit too quickly sometimes. I think it is worth reminding myself that I can be patient with myself and with situations and we don't have to rush things and we don't have to rush our relationship as much as we might want to. Yeah, I think that's a good lesson. Um, what else? <laughs> My eldest daughter has discovered our YouTube channel. Yay! By accident. Um, so she started watching it with my other daughter and um, they seemed to quite like it. They thought I was a little bit too flirty with David. <laughs> uh, but apart from that, they laughed in the appropriate places. They liked it when um, when we were talking about them. <laughs> they seemed to quite like that. So maybe they'll be doing some guest spots on here at some point in the future. Who knows? That would be cool. I always quite fancied that idea. Uh, I think it'd be good to have, I could have my ex on and his new partner and... Um, my kids and David's kids and his ex. <laughs> I'm not sure how that would work, but um, 
I love that idea because we're all linked now. I might never meet, I might never meet his ex, I don't know, but I still feel like I'm linked to her in some way. Same as David and my ex's new partner are linked in some way now. Um, yeah. You know, when you've, when you, when you've got, when you've got kids together and then new partners are involved and you're sort of sharing out the parenting, a lot of lives get touched. And, um, you know, I'm actually really embracing that. I'm, I'm seeing that as a real great opportunity for all of us to really learn something and and to be able to learn from each other and to be able to lean on each other as well. And I hope that it opens my children's eyes to lots of love, not to feelings of sadness. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but um, well, and what's wrong with that? What's wrong with wishing for the best yeah i'm going to embrace my wishful thinking there okay um yeah those are my thoughts <laughs> uh hope you're all well and uh see you again soon bye